Dimitro Sukovienko, virtuoso pianist, currently living on the coast of Lake Geneva at the dawn of an international career. Within himself, he carries the experience of his native country, Ukraine, with its soul still irradiated by Chernobyl and the twilight of the Red Tsars. Despite this, Ukraine has nourished many of great talent. Dmitro Sukovienko first traveled to Austria, then to Switzerland, to perform in musical competitions. Born in 1972, he exemplifies the young Eastern Europeans trained in the best schools, but who had to look to the West for the means of making their talent known. Noticed by great musicians such as Yehudi Menuhin, Dmitro pursues the dream of his whole family, to live only for music. Votre famille a des liens de longue date avec la musique. Oui, c'est vrai, c'est mon grand-père, de côté mon père, qui était déjà un grand amateur. Il n'était pas professionnel, mais était grand amateur de musique. Il jouait plusieurs instruments. Et j'ai d'ailleurs, j'ai été frappé depuis quand j'étais petit, voir à la maison tous ces instruments, trompette, guitare, accordéon. Et c'est grâce à lui, on, en fait, notre famille et, et garde cet amour vers la musique. Dimitro was born in Cherkassy. 150 kilometers from Kiev. The immense river Dnep, broadening to the size of a lake at some points along its thousands of kilometers, swells expansively at Cherkasy, giving the town the air of a maritime port. Its wide sandy beaches lining a seemingly endless coast bring to mind a northern Riviera. The surrounding countryside likewise appears boundless. But the scattered, isolated villages are linked to the Kremlin by a steel thread. Dmitro was born in the reign of Brezhnev, in a rigid Soviet Union which all, communist and anti-communist alike, believed to be immutable. Thus, in Ukraine as elsewhere, people managed to live within the regime and adapt their taste to the opportunities it offered. Dmitro's father loved music, and so he enlisted in the Red Army Band to play the tuba. But at home with his wife, it was the accordion which sweetened their leisure hours, today as under Brezhnev, or Gorbachev. I На той час аккордеон, коли я був малим, ще ходив в школу, і цей інструмент був дуже популярний. Це було після війни. Мій батько не міг купити піаніно, що я хотів би на ньому грати, але він не міг це зробити. Ну і аккордеон, це баян у нас називають кнопочний. Він дуже цікавий інструмент, це той же оркестр. Ну, как-то с детства я любила очень-очень музыку. И как-то далеко у меня было в душе, чтобы мои дети, когда они будут, занимались музыкой и любили музыку. И когда Дмитрий родился, 
мы решили, что если будет возможность, если у него есть данные, он будет музыкантом. И когда было пять лет, мы решили заняться с ним музыкой. The family moved often, following the Red Army in which Dimitro's father was employed. The parents immersed their son in music and in popular songs. A recording of the five-year-old Dimitro singing has been preserved. His parents encouraged Dimitro to practice and placed him before the instrument his father had dreamed of as a child, the piano. Le problème, c'est que je ne voulais pas. Quand j'ai eu 5 ans, enfin, ou même 4 ans, c'était terrible. Je, je voyais ces gros, grands pianos avec euh, une sorte de dents, blanc dents, quand tu ouvres, c'est comme un, une bouche. Euh, c'était impressionnant. Et quand tu as 5 ans, tu es exactement au niveau de, 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 de touche. Alors, c'est presque, ça fait peur. Et je ne voulais pas. 